Lovely friends who look good enough to eat. <laughs> now, uh, God, what an exciting week it's been. In America, George Bush Jr. won the Republican nomination for president. Oh, it's such a pity Bill Clinton can't run again. I'm sure he'd love the chance to lick a young Bush. <laughs> it's all. Don't, 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 don't. We'll just move on. It's all just so freaky. You merry band. <laughs> God, wooing tonight. Woo! Woo! Have the odor and we'll use it. Marvellous. <laughs> stay standing. Stay standing. If there's... We'll see. If there's something about you that's a little bit freakish. <laughs> now, that was an odd moment, wasn't it? It was like, well, we're all here. No, there we go. Okay. This lady here. Hello, lady. What's Hello, your name? Hello, Cheryl. Cheryl. And uh, and what's freaky about you? Well, I've been told I've got the fastest tongue in Essex. <laughs> the fastest tongue in Essex. Very good, Cheryl. And can I... <laughs> you do think there's some stiff competition there. Uh, all right, Cheryl. Uh, I don't Walking. know how... <laughs> is that, was that, husband. That's your husband. <laughs> Have you experienced a lot of Essex tongue? <laughs> you sure? Uh, so, Cheryl, I, I, can you demonstrate fast tongue for us? Can you do a bit of a flipping thing? Uh... <laughs> Very good, Cheryl. Uh, oh, oh, wait. There's more. <laughs> His face is so saying, oh, don't let there be more. <laughs> that was enough. Cheryl, yes? If you blow on it, it sounds better. <laughs> so, when I do it, you blow. OK, I'll, I'll stand here and I'll blow in. OK, OK, hang on. Am I ready? OK, OK. <laughs> now, fascinating, fascinating as that is. The first question into my mind is, how did you discover that? <laughs> Well done, Cheryl. You sit down. Rest your feet. Rest your feet. Let's uh, look at this man over here. Hello. Okay. Hello. What's your name? Mark. Mark. And, and what's your, your freakish trait? I have to say, the amount of body hair I've got. Body hair? Yeah. You've got. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny the reaction that gets? People just like, body hair. Body hair. How, I mean, let's be. Uh, can I have a sneak up? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you see that? You could shave welcome on that path. <laughs> Let's have Minnie cam in. Let's have Minnie cam in. I'm, I'm going to... Could, could you hold my microphone, Bessie? Thanks. All right. Don't do anything with it, Bessie. I know what you like. <laughs> oh, give her something with battery. She's off. <laughs> oh, all right. Here is the mark of Satan. Oh, oh, it's very Blair Witch. Is it, and is that all head to foot? Yeah, literally, yeah. Oh, my. You'd wake up with them and you'd feel like Sigourney Weaver and Gorillas in the Mist, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, have you ever thought, well, I you couldn't think about waxing because you'd have to sell your house. It's just... Uh, <laughs> it's so much better. So, do you go to the beach and things? Would you uh, take your clothes off the beach? No, no. No. T-shirt stays off. And yet on television... You know, <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, hang on. Oh, that woman's standing. I'll quickly, quickly go to her. You thought I'd forgotten you now. OK, what's your name? Uh, Karen. Karen. And, and what, what is your freakish trait? Um, just I've got a web toe. Slight web toe. <laughs> a web toe, everybody! <laughs> it is the X-Files. It is the X-Files. <laughs> she came out of a drain. <laughs> oh, 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 shoes off, shoes off. Shoes off. Uh, actually, come out here and we'll try and get her. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine, you're fine. So where, where's my webbing? Where's the webbing? 
Hang on, hang on. Yeah. So, so you see, two there, like that. Can you all see this? Yeah, yeah, two like that. Then two like that. There's the big two. There's the little two. The ooh, it's the devil two. <laughs> that is so impressive. That's fantastic, Karen. Well done. And well done to all the freakish people. Ooh. All right, now. Here we are, here we are. Now, ooh, ooh, now, my guest chair is empty. What the show needs now is a great first guest all the way from Hollywood, but who can provide such a thing? I know. This is a job for... And looking just gobsmacking. Thank you. No, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You're all shiny. You see, this is a good thing. Shiny I am. guest. But now, Wonder Woman, that's I mean, we do know I know you've done loads of them, but Wonder Woman is what we know you best for. And reading the thing, it shot me, you are a bit of a Wonder Woman in that two is it through two thousand people went up for the part of Wonder Woman? Something like that, maybe more. It was there were a lot of people up for the part. And it's an intriguing idea because like, what did you have to do for the audition for Wonder Woman? I mean, it was a lot of twer... I mean, how did, you, <laughs> how did they know you were going to be able to do it? You have to do a thing called a cold reading. I don't know. You're, you're an actor, you know. Failed. And they are... <laughs> it's the hardest thing in the world to do is a cold reading because they give you a piece of paper with some lines on it and, and they ask you just to read it in front of somebody who's reading like this and then he says... <laughs> So this was the first part I didn't have to do a cold reading on. Because they had seen a piece of film I had done, they wanted to just test me. And I got the call. Hello, Wonder Woman. That was really so exciting. Oh, I was screaming. You hopped in an invisible plane and yeah, off you yeah, went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, because Wonder Woman was originally an Amazonian, is that? Absolutely. Was that? This I great archetype. And you were a great athlete before. Yes. You? Yes. Which is one of the reasons I think I got the part was that I looked like the, like comic book. No, no, I have to say, look, we found this fantastic thing that I demonstrate your fitness to an extraordinary degree. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it's just, the, isn't that wonderful? It's just legs akimbo. There you are. Have you seen this before? It's cool, isn't no, it? No, yeah, no, Isn't it cool? And you can fly an invisible plane. Oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> but now, is it true, also, that when you were young, that you did have sort of supernatural powers that you could move furniture you and your sister oh my god <laughs> no not pushing it it's a kind of <laughs> I mean, oh here children moving to removals no where you... did you dig that up is it well, not true yes it's true we so you could move furniture well you know rise table rise i know you can do it i can feel you can do it <laughs> yeah but i really I, we <laughs> We did, but I, I, I really think that my sister was underneath, kind of. Oh, really? Yeah. I think that's a genuine talent, being able to think. That. And, uh, well, no one here can do it, can they? <laughs> oh, she can lick very fast, but you can't make a table rise, can you? No. The other thing, when we were looking, you know, because Wonder Woman, very sexy. Oh, my gosh, these were the early pictures when it was in the 40s. But you do, you forget, the Wonder Woman's pants, your granny could wear them. <laughs> That was, in defense, that was in the 40s, and then the new <laughs> pictures of Wonder Woman are high-cut, very high-tech, for the 70s, anyway. Yeah, no, I mean, you still look fantastic, but yeah. you could wear them, Betty, couldn't you? They could. <laughs> Come on. Are you cold, Betty? Oh, no, oh, Betty's got, oh, she's had to wrap a little sort of scarf around herself. Are you cold? Are you comfortable? No, I'm fine. Oh, that's fine. We're fine, Betty. Never mind. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we were looking, we were looking at the, the, the pants, the Superman pants, and, uh, and we were thinking sexy pants, sort of Superman, you know, because it is all very sexy. And, uh, and we looked to the internet. Now, on, 
I think we've only had one guest before who was kind of a, a bit of a nethead, but you are really into the internet, aren't you? Well, yes. Yeah, so you, you, you said these things called a nethead, and I call them geeks. <laughs> but anyway, you like the internet. That's I the do. point. I That's do. the point. I do. And on the internet, there's loads about, loads about you and, and Wonder Woman and everything. But the way they Wonder Woman fans, they don't just like Wonder Woman. They want to be Wonder Woman. So many of them want to dress up as Wonder Woman. And, and here's Josh as Wonder Woman. There's Josh lifting a car oh as Wonder Woman. No, isn't that impressive? Oh God. Isn't that impressive? Sadly, it all falls apart slightly when you get the close-up. <laughs> And I'd forgotten all about you. You used to do submarine Wonder Woman, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess Aqua. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Here he is. Yeah, you're to. There. Oh my isn't that God. marvelous? It's uncanny, that, isn't it? Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> but the way the gay, gay men did love Wonder Woman, and there was a, there's a guy who works on the show, Cameron, who's had a bit of light on his feet. And, um, <laughs> and he was saying that watching Wonder Woman, he knew that he was gay because when you did the transformation, the twirl from Diana into, into Wonder Woman, he used to get really upset as a child that you'd thrown away your handbag. <laughs> Signs are out there. But the award-winning one, the award winner is this guy, Aaron. He's Tulsa's Wonder Woman. And he is a professional Wonder Woman impersonator. Thing it's is, amazing. I, I, I... They're alive and out there. I don't know what to say. Well, we could say hello, because, um, we, because, now, here's Aaron, we hope, he doesn't know you're here, by the way, so imagine little Oklahoma squeals of delight. You're calling him in Oklahoma, or is, uh, whatever that is. Hello? Oh, hello, is that Aaron? Yes. Oh, hello, my name's Graham Norton. And uh, we, we were emailing you about, about your f fantastic Wonder Woman uh, outfit. Oh, that was you? Yes. Yes, it oh. was. Okay. No, because I, I saw the picture and it's just brilliant. Did you make that outfit yourself? Uh, yes, I did. I sure did for uh, some of my shows that I do. So you are an absolute Wonder Woman freak, it sounds like. You really like Wonder Woman. Oh, I love it. I have a house full of memorabilia. Oh, like what sort of stuff do you have? Oh, geez, I have probably about 400 different items. Um, Lots of different things, dolls and figures and pictures and books and you name it, I've got it. All right, your house is on fire, Aaron. Just what? About. No, not right now, obviously. How, how, can I, how, can, how can I smell it from here? But um, you're, you're leaving that. What bit of Wonder Woman memorabilia do you bring out of the house with you? Uh, well, let's see. I have a watch and a ring and on those very special occasions, maybe some Wonder Woman underoos. Some, some Wonder Woman what? Underoos. What are they? It's a brand of uh, children's underwear. <laughs> They're a little snug. Okay. <laughs> I'm not asking. Okay. Um, okay, well, listen, listen, you might want to twirl some underoos around your head now because, <laughs> Aaron, very excitingly, I'm not alone. Uh, well, I can hear some laughing back there. It sounds like you're at some kind of party. Yeah, well, well actually, actually, to be honest with you, Aaron, we're, it's a television show, there's an audience here. And oh. sitting beside me, on a, on a rather tacky chair, uh, is none other than Linda Carter, Aaron. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm so not. Say hello to Linda. Hi, hello, Aaron. Linda. Hello, well, hello, Aaron. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. I'm oh, sitting my... here with this absolutely zany, great fellow, uh, Graham Norton. <laughs> We're in London. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And uh, I, I, we've, we've just been looking at your Internet site uh, on the air here in London, and we're taping the show, and uh, he called you. Well, forget about the underroof comment, then. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, it's quite an honor to meet you. It's great to meet you, too. And I, I think you've done very well with this fellow here. He's, well, uh, thank you. <laughs> and you know, I think if I were you, I would have hung up by now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Aaron, it's loving it. You're here. Listen, Aaron, we, we've got to go. You must fly, hop in an invisible plane. Um, <laughs> all right, but listen, good luck with it all. Well, thank you very much. All right, and we look forward to seeing... Put, put up a colour picture. We want a colour picture of you. Well, I shall get one right out. All right, thanks, Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Certainly. Bye, Linda. Bye. Bye, Aaron. Bye. Oh. Nice, I would have hung up on you a long time ago.
I don't think he's that busy in Oklahoma, do you? <laughs> But just before we go, just before we go, that's Aaron. But I've saved, I've saved it. I found it about two weeks ago. And this is the best Wonder Woman dressing up thing ever. And I've saved it specially for you. It's Doggy Wonder Woman. Oh. <laughs> Look at Doggy Wonder Woman. It is so cute. Isn't that lovely? But here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing we sent away for Wonder Woman outfit. And here now, to model it, if you look at here is Hetty. Oh, and look, look, here is Hetty. Oh, truly she is Wonder Woman. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing? Listen, join me and Linda yeah, Garner no. after the break where special guest will have a naked gun in his pocket or is he just pleased to see me? Don't go away. Oh, good luck to the Super Bowl. Oh, what a woman.